Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Lil Z. That's right, guys. Lucid Dreaming is back. I'm going to start trying to do it. You're going to start hearing about my dreams. Pocket One. Uh, here, uh, yes, I'm Jordan, and I am here. Director Connor. Well, thanks for coming, Jordan. I can't wait to see who else is coming. Uh, we've got four spots, don't we? Ooh, who's going to be? special guest. Oh, hey, guys. It's me, Rooster Teeth. Oh, wait. No, I'm not here. I'm shut down. Jeez. What the <laughs> hell, dude? <laughs> so, it's been like two <laughs> days and you're dancing on their grave? <laughs> no, I mean, I got confused because I was going to intro my title as, oh, I'm Jordan and I miss Rooster Teeth. But then I had to be the special guest, so mm. I thought of that, and then you could see me fall apart, potentially. Mm. Maybe you yeah, missed it. Maybe right. I pulled it off. Jordan improvises sort of challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jordan thinks that more than like, you know, it's like the the data rate, data transfer rate. You know, you can't uh, get bandwidth. Past, yeah. You yeah. got like one thought. You got bottlenecked. <laughs> yeah. One, one, time. Bottlenecked one sure. thought bandwidth and then you couldn't get the two, two thoughts. thoughts. Just like, oh no. <laughs> I feel a bit that way sometimes. Well, it's more that like, I'm thinking about all too much shit and then I end up Well, me as well, nothing. but it's two yeah. for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think for you, I'm like, yeah, a bit higher. Did you guys ever watch Rooster Teeth though? I no. did. I, I was a big w- fan of Achievement them. Hunter. Yes. Like Gav, Michael, Dan. It was like pretty much, do you know anything about them, Jackson? No, start okay. from the top. So for, well, from the top, they were like the very first ever gaming videos ever. Red vs. Blue, they did like Halo videos. Holy shit. Like in 2002 or something before YouTube. Okay. But anyways. Where, where was that posted then? Like on their own website. Right. Or like people oh, would download wow. it. Old school. It was like the first ever kind of gaming entertainment. And then they, they kind basically of basically paved the way for us. Yeah, they like kind our of gaming channel is very reminiscent of that, I feel. They mm. walked so we could walk also. <laughs> <laughs> they walked so they we walked could crawl. So, yeah, <laughs> so we <it's> a run. <laughs> but yeah, and then they were one of the first um people to do like a group let's play kind of channels uh-huh. or they had Achievement Hunter, which was like the first videos on like Oh, this is how to get this achievement. Honestly, and they kind of just this, grew. This podcast nearly, we nearly partnered with um, like oh, Rooster Teeth. Oh, lucky we did. I remember that. I, I could have saved them, actually. I was going to say. Yeah, maybe if they had the, the dog revenue coming in, they would have <laughs> died even faster. <laughs> yeah. And then they also had like, that was like the first podcast I ever listened to was their podcast. I just listened to it all the time, like. 300 or something episodes I'd listen wow. to of their podcast. You've listened to them all? I've listened. No, because now they're up to like a thousand, oh, I think. Okay. But, but at that point. When I was in high them. school, I feel like they actually made me like a bit of a normal human because I'd listen to them. And, oh, this is what Sorry, normal this people is sound normal? like. I think so. This, mm, okay. It kind of gave me a healthy parasocial relationship, I feel. Okay. Bit of what, an oxymoron what do you there. Mean? Is yeah. there such thing as a healthy it's parasocial just like, relationship? Okay, okay. Because it's like, I never really listened to adults or like people just talking. And then you just got to listen to them talk. And I'm like, oh, this is what people think about. Yeah. Who aren't like just my friends. Right. Who I, I hop I, on I Left 4 Dead with every saying. night. Like it's just another group of people's perspectives. So they they also were like got me into podcasts. They I think they paved the way for podcasts as well a little bit. Shit, they did a lot of walking and everyone else is running past <laughs> yeah. them. Everyone's that is sprinting. essentially what happened. I feel like they didn't adapt and like move on as much. Okay, so now present day, what they just got shut down recently? They got shut down like this morning. What? Yeah. Wow, okay. So, because I think Warner Bros. started owning them and then Warner Bros. What? like, this is not going well. Warner Bros. owned oh, that them. Sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. What the fuck is Warner Bros. doing that's like, too important that they need to focus on over Rooster Teeth. Movies? Yeah. No, but they haven't haven't had a good movie in a while, have they? That's not true. Bugs Bunny? That was so long ago. What, Space Jam 2? Didn't that get fucking the worst reviews (laughs) on the planet? (laughs) I think they've done more movies than (laughs) Space Jam 2 and Bugs Bunny. (laughs) All right, we're going to look up Warner Bros. most recent movie. They shut down Rooster Teeth so they could buy LeBron James. All right, I've pulled up the most recent Warner Bros. movie that has been released. 2024, March 1st. Oh, fuck, it's Dune Part 2. Yeah. That's actually... Is that good? A, apparently, it's doing very well. I it's will, an uh, ultra move. Rooster Teeth wasn't, wasn't keeping up. Yeah, I'll I'll eat my words on that. That And then... Oh, but Aquaman was a bit shit. Oh, they did Wonka? Fuck, they're pretty all right, actually. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe too. you guys thought they didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't think that. Nah, I don't know movies. No, I honestly just couldn't remember seeing the Warner Bros. logo at the start of a movie I liked recently. Dun, and I, I really dun, went dun. wild off the deep end based on that. <laughs> 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 yeah. So but you yeah. haven't seen a WB lately since Harry Potter? 
A WB. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah. up. Jordan had a second thought. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> ah, rah, rah. No, because I was thinking, yeah, I used to watch like, did you ever watch their Minecraft videos, their Let's Plays and stuff no, like of that? of course. Yeah, I feel like that kind of inspired underdogs a little bit. Well, yeah. probably not for Jackson, but... No, no yeah. not at all for me, in fact, because <laughs> yeah. I didn't see it. Yeah. Jackson only rocks up for the cash. Yeah, yeah, cash. But, yeah, I will I will miss them. They were good. Um, we so got a message. They, did from, they give a proper reason? Or was it actually just Warner Bros? I think it's just a money situation. Them. Like, just in general, Rooster Teeth just have not been doing well for a while. Mm. They kind of, at least with their Let's Play channel as well, it's like they got to the point where they'd grown so much and then the people who are the original cast had started, like, leaving because yeah. they're getting to, like in their mid thirties and stuff like that. Gotta do other things. And like, even the podcast, I don't know if you remember Bernie Burns, but he like left the podcast a while ago and he started a new podcast, which I started listening to. But like, I guess all the original people kind of shifted out and it kind of became a completely new channel at that point. Yeah. But it's more of an organization than like a channel, I suppose. It sounds like at least. Yeah, it really grew because that's, well, we got a message from CJ. They shut down leaving 150 wow. workers without jobs and multiple contracts. So they must have grown. They, I think they just grew immensely and it just didn't keep like the views and all that didn't immensely. keep growing. Yeah. So that's why we don't grow. Yeah. Smart. Otherwise- <laughs> it's just us three. We actually get rid of people. Yeah, actually, <laughs> we actually, cut down early. <laughs> we got rid of Hop and yeah, we haven't replaced him with some second rate Hop cat. No. Nah. Forget that. We'll just slowly dwindle out until it's, it's just... honestly better to just Zach, have nothing. Zach in his room doing the pod. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I've got three go. topics this week. <laughs> yeah, is that who we think is going to be... Who's the last one standing? It's your house. Yeah, your house has got me thinking it's you. No, but I, I mean sort of in online presence, YouTube, oh. podcasting in general. I feel like Jackson could be, be one next. to go yeah. because you've got ambitions outside. Yeah. I don't. On the outside. <laughs> so I might be hanging around. Got, what are your ambitions, No Zach? ambitions. Would you be happy spinning the wheel on live streams for the rest of your life? If I could, yeah. Just doing all the crazy shit that comes up on the wheel? Yeah. Why you're not? like 80. It's like I, the wheel is like you're in a retirement home. It's play bingo or like replace <laughs> your dentures. Here's the thing. I don't think I don't think I can leave the wheel because I owe so many spins yeah. still. Yeah, I'm how many is it now? Like 1,800 or something. So, you do, so you're going to spin, spin the wheel one every five one minutes. Th- you got to raise the bar. That's a lot. Ten thousand. Raise the minutes. bar for donations. That's true, and then slowly work my way down over the years. How many have you got? Eighteen hundred spins. Let's. let's what is the this worst out. thing on the whole wheel? Actually, at this point, I can't remember. There's a Do lot of disgusting ones, just like drink a bunch of soy sauce or something like that. That's probably slowly killing me. I might just Drinking quickly rice say, wine if, vinegar. if you don't know, pop it streams and spins a wheel and just has to do whatever it lands on. Yeah, and I just keep adding stream. stuff to it. because it's, it's. But you add the stuff so people know, right? Yeah, but people if people suggest something good, yeah, I'll that do sounds it. Good. Yeah. Um, just so you're on the same page, if it takes you five minutes per spin, you've got 150 hours of That's things. not bad. That's a week... Like subathon, which so many a people do. A week of just doing nothing else but spinning, yeah, and that's you could that five would minutes, kill me. Five minutes per spin as well. That, I don't know how long they normally take. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, because some are like play Counter Strike match. Yeah, and then that's like almost an hour. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be doing it for a while. So I'm not next to go. <laughs> no. Do you have ambitions outside of YouTube, Zach? Ah, uh, oh, that's a good question. I have lots of ambitions within YouTube. Yeah. And I feel like... The question, they, no, yeah. no, 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 I'm trying to provide some the context. The exact opposite. No, okay. no, I think like the way I'm moving with my YouTube is probably giving me some skills that, that can then lead into real life stuff, like doing like photography or mm. videography outside of YouTube. Yeah. Or yeah. maybe just like passion projects, short films and that. I'm kind of hoping Smash 6 comes out and I can retire off that. Yeah, that no, would be handy. No, be I nice. don't even, even know if I want I to do. make Smash 6 Nintendo, content. if you're listening and you're about to release it and you heard Zach be like, ah, actually, I want it. I would like <laughs> it to. Send it. About to drop everyone is OP3 in Smash 6 and just retire. Sure, you can't tease the viewers like that. Well, I've already said that everyone is OP3 is probably a Smash 6 thing because of like, I mean, Smash Ultimate. Uh, yeah, yeah no, at this point. It's grim. Just wait. It's not giving me any sort of passion to make it. And no I lost motivation. most of the replays due to an update. So that's cool. Oh, I've said this before on stream, but there you go, guys. Yeah, that's grim. I will make it for Smash 6. That'll be fucking hype. The best video ever. All the classics can come back. You can't, you can kind of just redo everything that worked with Smash Ultimate with Smash 6. Oh, well, there's going to be Peter's so going to release IRL moves. So many YouTubers are going to be doing it, though. TC Nick is popping off still with Smash. He is. He is. Good on him. Absolute fiend. And he's coming on an underdogs video, so who really won? 
We're going to walk so that Party Crashers can run. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the next Rooster Teeth. Oh, no, boys. The sun That's the timeline. Rooster Teeth, Underdogs, Party Crashers. That's who's falling in order? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. We're next. So, does anyone have something to talk about? Yes, we all should. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not good at transitions. No, I, I've got something. Cut all this out, Jackson. Yeah. Um, I've been getting these very strange YouTube shorts this week. Oh, so oh I wanted careful! To it's not a self-report. No, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, good. So I wanted to talk Big about booty boys <laughs> popping up on my. <laughs> I don't know why. I never watch them. So I was talking about twerking. <laughs> uh, no, um, unethical life hacks. Have you heard of that term? Unethical life yeah. hacks. Unethical I've never heard hacks. of this. Can I have a guess at what it might be? Yeah, you can Un- try and come what? up with one if you want. I- I've never heard of this. Unethical life hacks must be like doing something that like kind of puts others down for you to get ahead. Like, That's, oh, yeah. life hack. If you want a free soft serve, just grab someone's soft serve at McDonald's. I don't think we're crediting him with yeah. guessing because he just said what it means. It's like yeah. saying, can I guess what red octopus is? It's like an octopus that's red. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's great. kind of exactly what you did, Jordan. Fair yeah, enough, fair I don't enough. Know, I'm not paying that at all. I'll I count do, it. I do like the example. No, no, I don't care if you're counting it. <laughs> I do like the example you gave, though. Thank if you, you want a free soft serve, just take someone's soft serve. I couldn't think of a good unethical hack, but yeah. clearly... We're um, about to hear some. Unbelievable. Yeah, so I've got some. I'm uh, probably going to make a main channel YouTube video on this because I just found them it's so funny. Like insane. Yeah, so I'll start off with some pretty tame ones. Uh, have you ever done this before, Jordan? When staying at a hotel, tell them it's your anniversary or that you're engaged to get a better room. No, but I definitely have thought about it. I feel like that's a classic one. Even movies do that. You know, I think when we went to Japan, <laughs> Holly and Maddie were doing that at every hotel. Oh, really? I remember yeah, that. when we were yeah. booking, uh, like Maddie always tells me like, oh, oh we didn't I'm get just shit. popping in that we just got engaged. When I filled in for you at volleyball, they were both telling me that was their plan in Japan. Oh, really? Yeah. Did we get anything? We didn't get no, anything, we didn't really. Get shit. In fact, we checked in and went into someone else's room in one of the hotels. Oh, yeah, that was grim. That kind of sucked. Did we talk about that on the pod? Probably not. I don't no. think so. Let's talk about yeah. it now. It was actually insane. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah, that, that was the story. Like we get up there, we go to, we get our keys or whatever. To go into our room, we open it up. And there's just a, the lights are on for our room, and then there's just a bunch of luggage and stuff on the floor. I don't know if the people were in there because the lights were on, so they must have been in the bathroom or something. Uh-huh. We're like, oh, and then just shut the door again. Yeah. And then same with Zach and Maddie's room. There were, what? Did you open it or did Maddie? Uh, I opened it. There was just luggage. It wasn't like wasn't too bad from the story, but you can imagine how it could be a disaster. Yes. Like you go to a hotel. You're walking on a lot. You know, you feel like you can just, yeah, you can be raunchy any time of day. You could walk in on a lot. <laughs> suddenly pop at one, opens your door and he's like, ew, sorry. Like you're just fucking stuck naked on the bed and doggy style punching her in the back of the head. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of the self-report. No, not yeah. me. Not me. Red card. <laughs> That's not maybe someone else I think we're timing, timing Zach out of the podcast. <laughs> but yeah, that bad. No, I want to cancel that self-report by saying it was in an Alex Williamson video from long ago. What was? He just like says like, oh, do it from behind, punch me in the back of the Alex head. Who's Alex Williams? Just kind of a... F- comedian. Yeah, comedian. Oh. It was just a funny thing he said. Okay, I've okay. I've never really thought too much into it, but yeah, i have obviously not punched Maddie in the back of the head. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Fair Thank enough. You. Thank you. But if you did, that's We're only right. missionary, that's why. <laughs> no, it's not. No, no, it's not. <laughs> well, she likes it. Okay. Anyways, um, what How were we talking about? about? Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. People's room. So what happened was accidentally when the ladies booked the room because Zach and I didn't do anything. Um, they booked it for like the next month on the same day, if that makes sense. So like instead of 2nd of Feb, it was 2nd of March. Yep. And it, clearly their systems weren't very organized. The hotel to pick up on that, they were like, yeah, come through. Yep. Yeah, I don't know how you how you get us like even checked in at that point. But yeah, but then we actually managed to get a bit of an upgrade on the room because of that. So this is a bit of an unethical life hack because originally the only rooms that were left somehow in a month... in in advance were like single beds. Right. But then we ended up getting rooms with double beds. Yeah, maybe we should do that more often. Like just book for the wrong date, act really confident. So and then yeah. yeah, I did that once by accident in Europe. We went from Germany to, I think it was France or maybe the other way around. I can't remember where we were going, but we get to the place and we hadn't booked it until the next night. And they were just like, well, you can't stay here. Yeah. So I don't know if it'll work out. Oh, and then nothing, you didn't get the upgrade? No, no upgrade. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> oh, we're, we're, bo- we're booked. No, but I think I actually know this story mm. uh, from your ex-partner. Sorry. Yeah. 
but you ended up booking like a really nice place instead. Well, that's right. right Cause I like, well, it worked out, didn't it? I but suppose. you had to pay for it. No, yeah, I had, had to pay. pay. <laughs> it was not more working expensive. out at all. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it was kind of just bad, but yeah. and very stressful. Cause it's like, we're in the middle of a country. We don't know. And yeah, people weren't really scary. speaking a lot of English and it was. Okay. Well, late. see doing it in Japan is good. Cause they're very nice. Accommodating. Yes. Very accommodating. Despite so, the fact that no one at this hotel could speak Japanese. That's true. They, they were all, all like Indian be, workers, yeah, like I think, who didn't Asia. speak Japanese at all. So respect to them. They knew no English, no Japanese. And we're like trying to explain to them. <laughs> they ran a hotel in Japan. I know. And I would have been crazy. really impressed if they didn't check us into someone else's room. Yeah. Can I just say my craziest thing about when I opened the door, there was like Lug- luggage Someone getting punched in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was luggage everywhere, but there was one suitcase on the floor, big suitcase, uh. and it was open, and it was just completely full of instant ramen. Sick. <laughs> like thirty packets Hungry. on the of, grind. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they were like leaving and they wanted to bring home some of the good Japanese. Sure, it's so cheap ramen. as well. Yeah, because it is nice over there. But yeah, that was kind of crazy. There were just like all these like red, blue, green, the ramen packets, cup of noodles sort of things. They weren't liking the local food. Or maybe they were taking it home. Is that local food? No, they were loving the local food. Oh, it was local. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, ramen <laughs> comes from Japan, so yes. pretty local. What other unethical life tips are there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll have to get it up. Sorry. Because... I would like to know. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're starting pretty tame, and then that some of them actually get really fucking okay. insane. Uh, here's another one that's relatively tame. Buy video games, play them, and return them within the 90-day return period. Oh, yeah. I'll do that. That's I've a done classic. That We've done that yeah. on the Underdogs channel before. Yeah. I was going to... That like, is bad, though, isn't it? Talk about Someone's that. Someone's put their hard work and effort into the game. Well, it has to be pre-owned in Australia for it to work, I think. It has to be a pre-owned game already. Yeah. No. Oh. No. Remember we did this. There's How an did we return video. it? There's an underdogs video. I think it's called like with the, worst, games. the worst Nintendo Switch game. And we bought oh, Mario and Sonic yeah, at the Sushi. Right. It's not a 90 day 20s. return window in Australia. It's a one week though. 90 days. So long. Oh, that's what they said. The Walmart one was. I th- this is 90 the days American is account. nuts. Yeah. EB Games, if you buy a game secondhand, you can take it back within, I don't know what it is. I think it's a week. It might be a week, but if yeah. it's only if it's pre-owned. Ah. Yeah, but we wanted to play Mario and Sonic at the Sochi Winter Olympics, like yeah. 2016. It's like the middle, the Winter Olympics version in between the main releases of yeah. Mario and Sonic. So it was And it was mid. It was worse it, than mid. Yeah. Mid's giving it, it a lot of credit. credit. That's true. Yeah. Is there was like PNGs for every shy guy in the crowd and like all the games were fucking so hard to control. And yeah. And then we ended up returning it the same, oh no, maybe a couple of days after we bought it. Yeah. And we got full money back and we made, that's one of our most viewed videos. So we, we made bank <laughs> profit. <laughs> so unethical. <laughs> exactly. That so. is a really unethical life hack. <laughs> but to be fair though, you can't like rent games anymore. Did you guys used to go to like Blockbuster or whatever yeah. and you would just rent a video game yeah, for the yeah. weekend? I love doing that. Yeah. Because it'd be like five or six bucks to play. I had I never um, did that. Oh, that's what I used to do. Get NBA Live for the weekend or some, some yeah. random game. In um, Tom Price, they had the AFL Live 2004 game. Oh, my first my, ever game. My favorite game. Oh. And I would just take what it back. F- that's oh. that's both of renew. your... You both like that game? It was my first ever game. It was so good. I played it all the it time. It was very ahead of its time and they have not made a good AFL game since. Have they not? That's no. the only one I've ever tried. We just... We bought it. We were in Margaret River mm-hmm. and they had it. And then I bought it and... I. Add it on the laptop. Yeah, that's because it My won't sell laptop. at all internationally. Like that's Australian rules football. Yeah, it's true. Moment. No one can relate to this nostalgia other than the yeah. three percent of our audience it's that like, are Australian. Would you make a cricket game or would you make a baseball game? Even if I'm living in Australia, I'm probably making baseball. That's wrong. Cricket's the second no, most popular sport more popular. in the world. Oh, I've fucking ruined it, <laughs> Mr. I? America over here. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. AFL though is different. Australia AFL definitely not like popular. Australia. Sorry, yeah, you're right. What a game. Um, but yeah, I would always take it back and be like, can I rent this again? They're like, all right, fine. Wait, and then, then they just gifted just to it to buy me. It? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> mum was like, yeah, you can't, you can't buy that because you'll play it all the time. And I was like, no. Oh, nah. so instead you just rented, just rented a bunch. it from the, from the library. And played price. it all the time. And then I think they just ended up giving it to me. Cause oh, no one the else library? Ever, yeah, the library had games. In oh, Brass. wow. Yeah. I'm imagining still do, there's, I think. there's one other kid in your town that really wants to play it, but you've got it on fucking retainer every week. You bring it in and he's like, can I get the AFL? The library works that you have to like go in and 
uh, request to take it out if someone's got it, and then oh, you have to bring it you back. can't online. Uh... Well, I don't know how it works now. Yeah, but at the time, so no, no one ever wanted it. There's no way they had online and like video game rentals that's, running at the same yeah, time. That's true. Those are two different eras. <laughs> that's true. My bad. The yeah. online was bloody like Netflix sending you a tape in the mail at that point. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> and then look where we're and then they overtook. What about the new Netflix, but for video game rentals? Oh, they should. Do, well, they no, they do that. They do that. Oh, yeah, oh, no. and I, I just yeah. got it recently because it takes two. Have you played that yet? Still, uh, about to. Oh, you should. Yeah, um, <laughs> it, but it was like it was cheaper. It was like on Steam. It was like this is Australian dollars, but it was like sixty dollars to buy. It takes two. Yeah, or forty dollars to get the EA pass for the year, which included it takes two and a bunch of other like FIFA and just like a bunch of other games, and then you just on a subscription for a year and you just get a bunch of games yep. for a bit and new releases you could play for like 10 hours or something. Yeah, Xbox has something similar. It's called like Game Pass or yeah, something. Yeah, so they actually have been doing it and it's actually super worth it if yep. you haven't looked into it. Damn, Switch yeah. should do that. Do they? Nah. See, Nintendo like, only releases play. a few bangers though. It's different. Nintendo yeah, just, they built different, aren't they? They, they don't work like the other ones. They're so different. Yeah. I kind of want the new WarioWare game and every Nintendo one's just like $70. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're not like going to stop. It's a lot for like a little children's party game that I might hate. Yeah. We should play it on the underdogs and then you just claim it as... Well, I claim everything is tax deductible anyway. Well, no, I meant you could pay for it on the underdogs. Card. Anything with even a picture of a video game character, I'm like, that's on the taxes. <laughs> but yeah, because Nintendo just make their own games as well, so it's different. Yeah. Like Xbox, it's like they just got thousands of games coming out because any developers like chuck it on there. All right. We're getting more unethical in the life hacks. More unethical? Yep. Got it. <clears throat> If you want your Uber to drive faster, start coughing and acting sick yeah. and they'll want to get to Ooh, the that's destination smart. That's pretty to good. get you out of the car, basically. I might start doing that. Does anyone not drive at the speed, though, anyway? Yeah, I mean, I think it's if, like, some of these old taxi drivers would try to, like, take you around the block, run Whoa. up the meter. Disgusting. So I guess Uber might be a bit different because it locks in the price at the start. I think they said taxi driver and I changed it to Uber. But oh. So you just kind of go like... <laughs> yeah, can you take me... <laughs> <laughs> Might have to end the podcast earlier. You guys feel yeah, it? Yeah, okay? I feel like <laughs> Zach starts talking fast. It's actually a good hack to get out of anything. A yeah. long haircut. Oh, I should have done that when the guy was taking ages to cut my hair. You don't like a long haircut? No, it was like... Because he just kept oh. talking to me. It was like 40 minutes. Oh, yeah, and I I'm ended up just saying I have to go. Can That'll you wrap do. it up? He's got us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I should have done that as like a T, like, because like 10 minutes in. Yeah. And it's like, still, he's like talking a lot. You can't be like, oh, can, can we speed it up? Because it's like only 10 minutes yeah. in. But if you start coughing 10 minutes in. Yeah. That's Th- I They're like going to get one. you done. I really like that one. <laughs> I'm like a, that, I feel like there's other ways to get out of a haircut. What if you just said, one. what if you just said I'm in a bit of a rush way earlier? Cause that's not rude. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I should. Yeah. What okay. if you said that 10 minutes in? That works. You that know? works. But it's not as subtle as the cough. Say that and cough. Because the thing is, if, if, you, if you bring up the, uh, that I'm going somewhere, then that's another topic. Oh. You've been trying to get me on. <laughs> <laughs> no, they try to do that with me on my haircuts recently. The place I go to has like hired more staff, including this like kid that is learning. Mm-hmm. And he um. Wait, kid, how old? I'm picturing like ten. Like yeah, t- um, no, nah, I'll say like fourteen. Whoa, probably like in year what year ten doing his um, what's it called, cert? I would imagine. Yeah, something like that. Really? Oh, that's scary. That's too young now. But they like they no they did my haircut and then they were like oh do you mind if this like kid like trims up the beard so I got it done once and I was like yeah like this kid can have some practice but then now every time I go they're like uh, they ask me the same thing and I actually don't really want that done and it took a long time because now they know that like oh this guy's safe to do it like you can ask him yeah well actually. <coughs> oh, I gotta look at the yeah. Yeah. Hey, What's the next one? What's the next one? That's a cool hack. <laughs> yeah, let's hips there quick. <laughs> now, for the audio listeners, I actually have a fresh cut today because I got my hair cut yesterday. Very and the, the kid wasn't there, so no, no awkwardness there. I got the owner of the hairdresser, and he was done with me in about 30 seconds. Yeah. That was Ooh. in and out real quick. I love and that. And this is quite, I don't know if this is interesting to you guys, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. I wear glasses, and I'm fucking blind without them. Yep. And so I had glasses on when I got my haircut. Can't keep them on when you get the haircut. Yep. So I just take the glasses off and I just say, like, you do you. Like, you, you go crazy. <laughs> and you find out afterwards. At the end, it's a big reveal and you yeah. put the glasses back on. Like, yeah. you a big mohawk. That's it's like one of those so funny. home makeover shows. Yeah. You don't get to see the finished product till the end. <laughs> you see the Grand process. Reveal. Like, I can sort of see how he's moving around. They got to get rid of the mirrors. I'm sick of staring at myself when I'm getting a haircut. 
I think it's but to it's look at them, them as them well, right? To talk, oh. Like when you talk to them, you can make eye contact oh. through the mirror. I I'd guess. rather not. I guess you could close your eyes. I do. You do, and then I because I get t- you know when you close your eyes, till you kind of get tired of closing yeah, your eyes. Yeah, I do that so at the dentist. I close yeah. my eyes, and then like, I don't want to be looking at them while they're looking at me, but they're not looking at me. They're looking in my mouth, and then I'm thinking, <laughs> "What's in my mouth?" The one I go to has a screen <laughs> on the roof. Yeah, they're that's making, the one I went to recently, yeah. actually. So you don't want to be making eye contact with them, cause, and they're making mouth contact with you. Exactly, <laughs> like but then you don't know, you don't want to distract them as well by looking at them, and then no. they look. They know that you're looking at them, and then they look at you, and then they like chip your tooth. No, the power move is to <laughs> stare at their mouth. <laughs> you know. What I mean, stare at them. You got something in your teeth. They're wearing masks, though. You can't. It's a power play. Yeah. Oh damn. I Have guess. I told you guys about my tongue in the dentist? <laughs> what, yeah. Are they like? Can you please you move have, this? Uh, no. Well, so did you, I thought you had an ex-girlfriend that was a dentist. No. <laughs> <laughs> my tongue went for hours. What happened with the tongue in the dentist? This so is some Cluedo shit. My yeah. Well, my tongue investigates when this thing's going on in my mouth. And you, it's got a brain <laughs> and of And I own. said to the dentist, is this normal? Like, I can't help this situation. He said, not really. No, <laughs> this is pretty abnormal. Wait, so your tongue's just like, they're trying so to do something and you keep if they like, coming sh- in. You know, they're like doing the scraping on the tooth. My tongue's like, oh, what's going on over here? That's and it dangerous. goes and checks it out. And I'm like, get back here, tongue. You have no, you have no, you have no control over your no, tongue? No, no. Do they yeah, have the maybe. assistant with like one of those pop sticks as like a barricade? She's got the, your... the lasso like <laughs> pulling it back. <laughs> yeah. Get back here. <laughs> Stop this tongue. <laughs> they need to do that. What yeah. if they um? Oh, it reminds me of octopus tentacles. How they have like, <laughs> you know how they have nerves in them and it yeah. kind of acts like the like a part of octopus the octopus's brain. Yeah, they each have a mind of their own. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe your tongue's just got a mind of its own. I'm a genius. I got two brains. Whoa. Maybe they should give your tongue anaesthetic. <laughs> they should. They need to put it down. <laughs> In general. Okay, anyway. You'll probably, probably die, die right? Yeah. What, what happens if your tongue doesn't move? I think it'll probably get stuck in the back of your throat. What? Like if you went like this and you never Oh, and it falls. Oh, God. And you're like... <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's go over some more insane, unethical life hacks. Yep. Uh, fire a gun every week to keep your property value and taxes low. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Just fire a gun in oh. your neighborhood so everyone thinks it's a shit neighborhood. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that Don't one. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But stop if you've got to sell. Stop for a while. Doesn't really work in Australia because we don't have guns. No. Really, you just have to walk around your neighborhood looking like a meth head. Yeah, that works. Tick. <laughs> what do you mean that works? You've tried it, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Is works. Is that how you got such a good deal on your place? Exactly. Yeah, I've been ah. walking around the streets for a while before the house got sold. Every home open, actually, I'd pretend I wasn't actually a homeowner. And I'd yeah, is that a good? You just get your around. friends to dress up as homeless people and just like sit out the front and stuff when you're trying to buy a hey, house. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, you want to come to my van? Jackson, That's I literally smart. think that might have been in one of these other things. Oh, That's that a, a lot. good one. Get yeah. your friends to dress homeless outside the front of your the house you're trying to buy. Ho- yeah, and then everyone else is like, oh, I don't know about well, this. This is a bit oh. of a weird area. And oh, then you, you money. nail it. And then you why walk around as well, like, why are there so many homeless people? Yeah, yeah. There's like Beverly Hills, and there's forty homeless people around one house, and then just mansions. Just walking around like, do you guys think this is haunted? Is uh, that just yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do that? That's. I feel like I can't remember if Holly and I did that or like if our parents did that at all. Like you walk around the house and you're like, oh, I don't know about this. Bathroom. Yeah, that a bit needs small. a bit of work. Oh, yeah. when, when you're going to the <laughs> yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> just so you vocally like add little like fears into other people's yeah, minds. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, there's a crack on the ceiling. Is that <laughs> mouse poo? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Is that unethical? That's Probably. definitely unethical. Yeah. Well, and it works. That's crazy. Uh, okay. And it works maybe. <laughs> Great. <laughs> For a free cake, wear a suit to funeral homes and act like you knew the deceased. That's good. That's so much effort. That is For a, a lot slice of, effort, of cake. It? Yep. I don't even like cake that much, really. Me either. Do I'll you guys think you one. could pass that off? Like, you? what if someone's like, oh, how did you know him? Oh, go way back. <laughs> yeah, wow, <laughs> I believe you. They're like 80, obviously, because they're dead. That's interesting, because I'm his mum, and I've never seen you in my life. Yeah, well, he wouldn't, he wouldn't tell you about me. At work. I was a secret fling. Why not? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any more questions? Or and then, and then the, and then, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Have some cake. You say it was a secret fling, yeah. and then the his wife comes up to you. Yep. In this situation, you've had a gay affair with the deceased. Yeah. His wife comes up to you yep. and is like, "I overheard that." Yeah. 
what the fuck? I'm How like, dare you next. show your face here and stuff you're stuffing your face with cake, sir? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Hey, run away I'm with like, the cake. There's it too many ways to backfire that one. Yeah. I've not sh- worth it for a piece of cake. No, I'm with not you on worth that. it. I would probably just look under a vending machine for some coins. Well, that actually says for a free cake. So I don't know if this is implying you take the whole thing with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me and him go way back. Anyway, I'll take this cake. <laughs> Let's go. Last one. Yep. Probably the most fucked up. Okay. Uh, when, this is a long one. <laughs> Here we go. When dating someone, every time after you finish having sex, okay. put a nicotine patch on them while they sleep. And then if you ever break up, they will have withdrawals to you. <laughs> and think it's because of dating you. <laughs> that can't be how that works, is it? Yeah, well, nicotine ni- patches have nicotine, and then like right, they yeah, would, that part, they yeah. would get nicotine withdrawals if they, they never would think knew. it's withdrawals from you. Oh, like they get what do you yeah. get? Headaches or something? Yeah, I don't headaches. Know. If they never knew that you were sticking nicotine patches on them <laughs> in their sleep, which wow. is so fucked up. <laughs> that's insane. Someone wrote that's illegal. That, that's yeah, that's not unethical. They might be illegal, but I rate it. Well, isn't that what the legal's for? The ethicals? No, ethical's not necessarily legal. That's the point of ethical is like things that we do that aren't necessarily the law. Oh. All right, but if I'm, if I'm, I'm not encouraging this. But w- what if but. you put, <laughs> what if you put a nicotine patch sticky side up on the bed and then they lay down and it's stuck to their back and they didn't notice? Oh, and they just happen to be there. Yeah, just yeah, happen. Is that illegal? Yeah, yeah surely. Because yep. what if you just replace that with poison? Yeah, or and a they knife. die. Or a knife. Or if there's an upturned knife in your bed and you lie back on it, I think that's kind of on you. No. You didn't, you that's what you're saying as they're bleeding. And they're like, call the doctor. You're like, well, that's on you. That's uh, on you. I, I think you're going to have to call the doctor. Yeah. I think that might be the perfect murder. Just a knife sticking up. You keep putting it in every seated surface. No, nah, I've heard some every crazier time. murders. Have you heard about the eye drops? Well, I'm about to. Something about that. It's like you put oh, eye drops. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, come on. You, you built it up so much. Yeah, yeah, it's just like something about I'm that. I'm pretty sure a woman killed her husband just by putting a dose of like eye drops in his coffee and just kept upping the dose every morning from one drop to two and then eventually he just dies. Because it's just like poison. It's poison, yeah. He would say, I dropped dead. Yeah. Let's go with one more unethical <laughs> life hack. I thought you yeah, already had the last one. Here's what the chat had to that say about was that the one, last by one. the way. That's illegal. What the fuck? That's not ethical. That is assault. That's actually illegal. It's sometimes illegal. <laughs> well, sometimes. <laughs> My puppy 49. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> All right. Wow. It's pretty cursed. All those are pretty cursed. Oh, yeah. They but got more and more cursed as we went along. Yeah, no, I don't recommend doing any of those. Ah, some of them are right. And those are only some of them. I keep getting them... Funniest part about it to me That's really funny. is that it's on this account called Shower with SpongeBob. And <laughs> and all these life hacks are read out in SpongeBob and Patrick AI voices. Great. Oh wow. And they play satisfying video in the background. Do no you, wonder it's got me hooked. Do you think an AI just comes up with them as well? I don't come think so. up with a bunch of unethical life hacks. I don't know I if I don't know if AI could come up with some of these rippers. Yeah, fair. But wow. yeah, it's just like I can't. I can't do a good SpongeBob or Patrick voice. Well, maybe, maybe I'll I be can, on the podcast next week. Maybe I can find one. Honestly, if I open YouTube, there's a good chance it'll be the first thing that pops up. Patrick's like, it was the it was the, fir- it was the first short I scrolled to. Oh, really? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, All right, we're gonna play one of these for you live on the podcast. If the apartment next to you is an Airbnb, book one night there and get the Wi-Fi password. You'll never have to pay for internet again. Unethical life hacks. If you are trying to sell your car, go into a very nice neighborhood to take pictures. Buyers will be more interested in buying a vehicle from classy people who have money to keep it maintained. When buying home furniture for guests to sit in, buy something somewhat uncomfortable so they won't want to stay too long. If you want to gain access to... <laughs> yeah, that's wow. basically it. You heard Spongebob, what a smart you heard channel. Patrick. I feel like Patrick's voice wasn't right. To oh, me. They're both a bit not Sponge right. SpongeBob's was closer. That was good. Maybe it's just them saying unethical things that threw me. Spon- yeah, because Patrick's usually saying something very slow and dumb. He yeah, doesn't yeah, usually yeah. have so much energy. He's not like, yeah, got Buy enthusiasm. an uncomfortable chair. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't usually say that. Can Sponge I just... Good. Sorry, I'm just going to give myself a pat on the back. That was a good Patrick, I thought. Yeah. Right, well, no, nothing it. better than self pros is there? Yeah. Wait, how good SpongeBob? When you kneel next to an apartment. No, that's You not. didn't have to do that. It yeah, started sorry. pretty all right. It had a moment. Yeah. Can you do that? <laughs> no, oh, he's not, good. Not, oh, Ooh. okay. I'll take it. Yeah, anyway, that's what I've, I've been looking at all week. What have you guys been doing? Wait, leave a gap so I can cut out the SpongeBob chat. No, <laughs> fucking <laughs> way. <laughs> 
Jackson, please don't cut out the smoke. Okay, you ready for me to talk? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here's what I've been thinking about. Okay, here's what I've been thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> that is not smooth at all. I've been thinking a lot about digital photo frames. What does oh. that even mean? Is that like the ones where it just shows a bunch of pictures? And they change? So handy. I was thinking about getting one and posting my uh, code. because So Jill got one for her birthday. It was Jill's birthday recently. Actually, it's today. Shout out we to Jill. We went out for dinner a week uh, on the weekend. Your grandma. If ever anyone who missed yes. the podcast, yes, go check yes. it out. Um, and you download an app and you put the code in and then anyone can submit once you've got this code. So it's become a massive troll destination where you just send the stupidest oh. photos to this photo frame. Oh, that's so good. So I was thinking we could either A, get one for the podcast and it's just playing all the time and whatever fans want to send in. A hundred percent. Which could be risky. It sounds so risky. Or I'd just get one for myself and just see what people would send in. Oh, are there any safe search filters? No. That put on oh, that? that would be good if it was like, yeah. I think it's just like you just set it up because it's supposed to be for family to put family photos on yeah that sounds dangerous for a live stream on a website that has yeah so we wouldn't put it in the live stream i think we just have it well the live streams for only for patrons and like is patreon like only fans are you allowed to no i'm not saying we want this that's true you probably can but yeah. like i'm i'm saying worst case we had the photo frame and then like someone's ass but the video is getting streamed on youtube isn't it unlisted. yeah but unlisted Ooh, we could have a little secret sex. I don't think you could <laughs> upload like a naked, unlisted YouTube videos. Unlisted? What if you're just sending it? I don't to know. Your... I don't know either. I don't well, if, think okay, so. If, but I, I don't know why not. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. If I'm uploading a video of me doing a strip tease, it doesn't exist. This is theoretical. <laughs> and then I have it unlisted, and I send it to one person. Yeah. Probably uh, Maddie. Maybe strip Jackson. tease seems okay. I'm, I'm. I was picturing like porn. Okay, well, like, it gets to that in the strip tease. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <Imagine> that. <laughs> that, and if this doesn't exist? <laughs> this is just a tease? <laughs> Holy moly. It's <laughs> a tease that gets to porn. Yeah. I'm just talking about the concept. So, okay. yeah, and then, it, and like, full frontal nudity, Got unlisted. It. I send it to nah, one person. No, it doesn't person sound on, right. On, so, on YouTube, am I not, like, you can't do that? I doubt it. I doubt it, too. Let's test it. Where's that video? <laughs> yeah. Upload it now. People upload videos to YouTube and they're like, almost nude anyway. Yeah, but like the nude is the part, right? Yeah, but who's checking it? If I have an unlisted video, does that mean someone at YouTube's watching it without my consent? It probably has auto filters. I think they, I don't they know. always auto filter, right? What? Sure, they have auto, auto filter for like penis. Well, it's a good thing my dick's not like anything you've ever seen before. <laughs> you can't There's even no see way it anyway. you can pick that up on a filter. <laughs> Surely, no. I feel like you can't, but maybe you can. Maybe you can. I'd I'm, have to. I'm trying to search it. Let's. So find we'll get out. the frame, is what we're saying. As long as it's not public, YouTube doesn't care. Oh wow, you're right, Zach. Oh, wait. So unlisted is allowed, but not public. You can also have nude videos on YouTube uh, if they're listed as educational, e.g., breastfeeding, natural birthing, nudist colonies, birth exploration, sex therapy, etc. So we're getting the frame and well, it's an I educational was, podcast. Yeah, I was actually talking in. about the history of the Big Bang while doing the sli- the striptease. So yeah, how does that work? It doesn't seem like the nudity is relevant. Then. <laughs> unrivaled audio. Well, there was a audio. Big Bang at the end, wasn't yeah. there? <laughs> Our new intro is just going to have to be unrivaled audio education. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Then no matter what we do. Anyway. No matter what people send on the frame. Would you guys be on board? for this frame sounds yeah, like now it sounds great idea. but i don't know i don't think we could put it in the shot no we can we just looked it up what about for what about I, that's for not our, correct <laughs> jackson what about for our patrons yeah and then we can almost pinpoint who has sent in the oh it's just for things. the patrons yeah and then we can seems so ri- what if like jordan's talking about how he got cancer that time and behind him's just like someone getting <laughs> or something like that's just bad and then yeah. i'm just like what am i blurring that out in editing yeah we shouldn't that's true. But it is funny. It is it's funny. It's so good though. We, we just got to trust our patrons. Or we could just post our own we our own funny things to it. What does it get a big list in it? Hmm? Does it save everything to it and it cycles? No, so basically it gives you a code and then I you download the app and you put the code in and then you can just send whatever photos from your photo reel in. Ooh. And it doesn't, uh, but it doesn't cycle through. It cycles through them, yeah. Oh yeah, so we, like, we could just send a bunch of funny things. Yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah it's not as fun at, that way. at least we're lowering the chances of someone getting <laughs> fucked in the ass. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon we should do it for the patrons. Now I've changed my mind. Yeah, I've come around on it. I don't think that many. I don't think many people are going to be doing that. It would be good if it worked. If it like says who sent each picture, it does say that. Oh, yeah. that is good. That is good. Would so you just delete them. 
Yeah, well, but we'll then they can just get back in, I think. Uh, Maybe you can block them, I don't know. Surely. We will remove their access if they send in any naughty... You are banned from Patreon. Things. It would be pretty funny just seeing like a photo of Jordan dunking or something as in the photo frame. Like they Photoshop some... Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, they, they always dunk. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> they, they take a picture. I was going to say, there's no way Jordan's tall enough to dunk. <laughs> They'd have to cut uh, that yeah, boy Yeah, so they out. took some pictures, yeah. Because I've just been putting like photos of celebrities with their names on it. I just find it so funny. It's just a picture of like Jerry Seinfeld. It just says Jerry Seinfeld as it's cycling through our family photos. (laughs) That's good. Someone's going to come over and they're going to think like, oh, wow, Jerry Seinfeld. You guys know Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah. He's like, yeah, we do. Um, but what? yeah, that, that's my contribution for the Patreons. Uh, that's a good reason to join the Patreon, underdogs.com. No, hang on. Well, not know. yet because we well, don't we have haven't confirmed that. Yet, but yeah, we'll confirm. we should wait. We should wait. Patreon.com slash underdogs pod. <laughs> what else do you put in the digital photo frame? Well, photos. Yeah, but like <laughs> any other funny ones or just, oh, just family? It's good to post like embarrassing photos of my sister and she's been stitching me up plenty now that she's she was down for the weekend as well. So we'll just spend the whole time basically just sending photos in of each other. Where did you even have these pictures from? Oh, like from, from ages ago. Oh. Yeah. Does the frame itself look good? Does it look it like It does a look photo? nice. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, wow. I might get some of these just for just yeah, they're it's, actually really good it's a really good idea because it's like don't have to have a bunch of photos and you can just put the nice photos of you and maddie or whatever you want to have on there scroll um, through scroll through them and they play at random it's nice yeah i have one of those uh tvs that's meant to look like a big picture frame and i put like some of my own photos in there but those are like photos that i've taken to try yeah. and like look like like Art. landscapes yeah. and like yeah mm. more arty because but you don't get a code for just anyone to upload yeah. that'd be so funny i would do that just in my house just constant little z fans that sounds great just for a party as well like anything have they that. want yeah yeah it's only yeah. small like it's a, you know photo size this one i'm sure you can get bigger, get a bigger ones, one. you know how you have um uh, you have those like tw- like 21st birthday parties yeah 30th you have those slideshows of like all the yeah, amazing yeah. photos of people what if you had a party and it was just instead of all doing embarrassing photos of one person? Because at all those parties, you get a bit sick of it. You're like, it's just okay. of everyone. Yeah, I've seen like every funny photo of you. But if anyone could submit, then you just get the <laughs> best of the best. You just have to send embarrassing photos of yourself. It's like the all stars. Yeah, self report. That's good. You're like, oh no, someone's spreading their ass cheeks and showing them <laughs> who put that on the screen. Oh, that's just you. another one. <laughs> Here's me being caught by my mum watching something I shouldn't have. It's like, what? Don't upload that, dude. <laughs> you had access to that. The, <laughs> the dad's coming in to take a photo. And he's like, son, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to capture that on your it still. Now. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, who took that? It's like, that's a selfie. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Oh, someone said we could put all the Patreons like send they send in their face. It's a pretty funny idea, but I don't know if people would want to do. Wait, that what's not. that? We could. Oh, like it just comes up as like a regular sponsor of the podcast, John, and it's just a photo of John. <laughs> that's good. That's next level because people like it when it's just like their their name at yeah, the end yeah. of a video. It's just like but a photo of like the Patreons. The I don't mind that at all. Or we get photos of Hopcat on holiday, and it's, we just put we put the photo frame on the chair. Yeah, oh, we just yes. get different photo. Peter takes like. 50 photos a day. It's a lot of work for Peter. It'll Actually, like still there. I noticed the one yeah, that it's like a slideshow of his whole week since the last part. The one that um, Jill got as well plays videos, so we can have him just going, I agree, and just like set it up when it randomly videos. cycles to it. I know someone that it. plays videos. That's yeah. Let's be so honest, good. Peter was here for his looks, not necessarily for the conversation. No, God, no, he's oh, rubbish really? chat. But yeah. he, God, he's hot, isn't <laughs> he? Oh, they have on that, man. <laughs> so are we on board? Yes, I am. All right, I'm great. On board. Well, that, that was my idea. That's a little one for the patrons, maybe. Yes. Well, I've been seeing people do this. Go on, laughing at pain or just finding things funny in general. Funniest home videos. Well, era. yeah. What's the point of that? Am I right? You know what I mean? <laughs> you can't take on. <laughs> am I right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everything's for a reason. Like I, I understand. Like it makes sense. You're sad when you touch fire, and you're like, "Oh, that hurts." Or you're happy because you got some food. You mean laughing but at others? Why would a baby laugh at someone like hurting themselves? Oh, what is that? That's a good question. It's a bit of a pop one question of the week. Yeah. yeah, it is. You know what I mean? The best, the best way I can think of it's like it creates the memory. But wouldn't you rather be like scared of it? What's the point of laughing? Yeah, like when at you it? see a grandma fall over, you're like, oh, it's kind of funny. Exactly. Why what is, is that? Why is it not like a scary thing? Yeah, why are we that not you want concerned? to avoid? Why is it just like 
That's hilarious. I, I remember well, that. Because it's funny when you're with your friends and someone eats shit, isn't it? Yeah. So I wonder if it's taking a bit of that and you're applying it to this stranger. Yeah, like a bit of a... Um, and why is it not funny when Paras- they die? Parasocial relationship. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny. Or they seriously hurt themselves. Now it's not. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's a switch there yeah, like and I don't they, know what that's about. When someone falls over, you're like... Pfft. You, at first you're concerned, then they're like, I'm fine. Then you're like, okay, that's, that was really good. <laughs> yeah. What but is that? For that's instance, what I'm saying. The, that vine of the person like trying to stand up straight on the ice and their feet are slipping around everywhere and they fall over. That's like the funniest video I've ever seen. I haven't seen it, but I can picture it. No, Sounds who, great. Those yeah. who know will know. <laughs> yeah. But that's you know true. that they didn't get seriously hurt at all. It's just like, it's, I guess it goes back to like the Three Stooges and that like physical comedy Slapstick. shows. <laughs> yeah, very yeah. slapstick. Yeah. Why is it funny? What's the point of that? Why do we laugh at people getting hurt? Should that's I Google it? Sure. My, yeah, my best guess is like you create memories better when there's a strong emotion. And so then like the funniness is the strong emotion. So you don't feel shame and embarrassment all the time. Oh, that's my so, best guess. So you're trying not to feel so like shameful or maybe you're trying not to feel empathetic. It's a lot easier yeah. to laugh than to feel empathy for someone. Ooh, whoa. You're that's right. a quote. But then when you're the person who falls over, then it's usually more embarrassing than funny. Nah, sometimes it's fucking hilarious. That's true, that's true. I had a, I had an extremely funny stack when we were at a music festival last year. And I, like... <laughs> I'm uh, laughing I, I didn't even see it. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> nah, I probably had a bit to drink. And I fell backwards. We had this big gazebo with, like, tarps on all the sides. I fell back ripped a hole in the tarp and like landed on all of our food supplies and just like <laughs> I was like toppled over our little pantry area that we had and I was just like stuck in Sounds half like such of this a great fall. gazebo. Yeah and I was just lying there and I, like laughing for five minutes and everyone just found it so funny. But I couldn't get up. I was laughing that hard because I was just thinking <laughs> of what it must have looked like. It was very comedic. <laughs> But yeah, even like say someone's doing a bad speech or something and they're just absolutely fucking it up and maybe they're embarrassed because they're like taking it serious and then it's just funny. Yeah, that's because oh, I, I find that funny for a different reason. I understand that a bit more. Well, I don't get that. The situation more, is funny. More awkward if someone's... No, oh, fair. Like, if it's like someone's fucking, fucking it up and like cringe... Let's bring it back to what we all agreed on. The uh, <laughs> when we all, let's bring it back to when everyone agreed with me. Yeah, yeah, just like like yeah, a granny falling down the stairs. Like even a baby will laugh at that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Or like you're trying to make a baby like laugh. You like you slap yourself or something. I don't know. Mm. What being funny is just weird. Why do humans do that? Do any other animals Wait, do that? Be slap- funny, chimps. Jordan, Sorry. slap slap yourself real quick. Wow, harder than that. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, come on. That, okay, try and make me laugh, honey. <laughs> It's not that funny yet. I think I, it, I, think I it wasn't needs looking. to hurt you for us yeah. to find it funny. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll show me to slap him. Yeah. That might do it. That no. might do no. it. Get it's back. for science. Get back. We're going to find out. Oh, God. All right. Oh, the anticipation okay. is awful. Oh, you okay. You need to come this way a little bit. Well, I got to oh. see it. Don't give me a I'm concussion. My arm's uh, not Jackson's correct. lining up a big slap on Jordan. I can't see him too hard. Is that funny? Why am I the only one laughing? Yeah, Jordan did laugh. Yeah, wasn't that funny? I no. think we need to go harder. Let me try the other cheek. Maybe it's the cheek. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh. Ah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I was, Jordan, I was trying to, I was doing a bit of, uh, for those that don't know, I clapped into the microphone for the audio listeners. It I was sounded, trying to, yeah. It trying to get like Jordan to do like an, oh. Should we try it again? I'll edit yeah, that one okay. out. Okay, yeah. ready? Go. Ah, fuck. Oh. Damn, Jackson, you fucked him up. Oh. Damn, that hurt my hand. Jordan's on the feel floor. It in my he's teeth. Not, he's oh. talking into the mic. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but do any other animals do it? I think chim- chim- <laughs> he's moved on quickly. Do chim- chimps laugh, but I don't know about other animals. Do they? Yeah, because I've seen a video where it's like, have you seen it? It's like people do magic tricks to chimps and then they find it funny and laugh. They're like, what? Comedy's got to be like a, a very intelligent based thing, right? Apparently, but it's not like at like it's not just what laughing. It's, it's like people octopus. falling over. Yeah, octopus is pretty clever. Apparently, They're octopus not is jokes. not that smart. We talked about it a lot last really? last oh. week, and people said there's like so many animals smarter than octopuses. But apparently, <gasps> that's uh, I think Where? it's an underdog's fact that we always bring up. They get a lot of I've good seen it. Yeah, I yeah, swear. That, they're smart. But I think it's more the fact that we all watched My Octopus Teacher and just mm. ran. No, with I it. saw a YouTube video as well where they said IQ of every animal, and octopus had like seventy. That's yeah. pretty good. That's, That's very high. Uh, I'm Crows trying to get the are highest. smarter than octopus. 
top 10 smartest animals in the world. All right. Let's Because chimps let's are just, higher. Do you want to try and guess? No, let's pivot to this. Yeah. Would it be every first. monkey? Would it be like chimps, orangutans? Chimps is first, yep. Orangutan three. A gorilla this, second. No. No, that's terrible. Gorilla dolphin. Dolphin, dolphin, dolphin second. second. Yeah, okay. We've got the top three done. And dolphin. Then, where's what octopus did you say third? Then? Orangutan. Orangutan, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe octopus is next. I'm going to go dog as number four. Dog. No, dogs are dumb ass. Not on the list. Dogs oh, are dumb. Shit. Dogs are Some dumb of these than, are like, very cows surprising. And pigs. Cows and pigs. No, cow, no. Pig, oh, yes. I was saying dogs are dumber than cows and pigs. Yeah, pigs is number six. Yeah, pigs, pigs are, are Pigs are apparently very smart. Octopus got to be five or four then. Octopus. No, octopus is top ten, number nine. <gasps> no, this is a lie. I don't know. It's, it's probably a not true. It's, a lie. it's just howstuffworks.com, Ooh, so who knows? human. Human, not Wait, on the they list. Pr- they probably oh, would have yeah. been first if yeah. they were counted. Not on the list. Crows. Crows, number five. What? I could, there's no way crows are parrots that fucking and, smart. No, parrots and all that stuff are smart. What's like parrots? Is it that parrot, one no, in general? not on the list. There is another bird on the list. Toucan. Mm, probably not. No. What's, it, what's the Tell one us. that the African grey can like full on talk? You know that parrot? No. Okay, <laughs> we're missing <laughs> elephant at number four. What? Squirrel at number seven. Elephants are not that smart. They decided to have trunks, and we all know how that Squirrels goes. Squirrels are <laughs> smart. That Mark Rober video, they get good, hey? Have you seen yeah. that video, Jackson? Where he's making the Do- obstacle course with Yeah, them? I was I like, if Jackson's that. seen a YouTube video, that's... Uh, I've seen that one. Yeah, because that's one that like everyone's seen. Um, pigeon? Yo, that makes sense. And rat at number 10. Rat. Yo, it's all these ones that have like survived and thrived all over the world. Like, pigeons... Always can find their way home, apparently. They used to be the messenger birds and they've just spread out everywhere. Yeah. They're pretty smart. And I guess crows are everywhere. Rats are fucking everywhere. Crows use tools, right? And that's a big thing yeah. for intelligence. Like if there's stuff in the bottom of a water bottle, they can like they put rocks to the water level raises. Yeah. Smart. To get their food. Oh, wow. Out. That is crazy smart. Yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah crows are I think it's good that dogs aren't smart because if dogs were smart, we would be, be in trouble. They'd yeah. be like open up doors and shit. But dogs are like they're dumb, but they're loyal. They're loyal. And that's what it's all about. I think you can train dogs to do pretty smart stuff, though. Well, yeah, but like, like on the level compared to ev- like all these other animals, they're below. Why do we do sniffer dogs when pigs have as good a sense of smell? And they're apparently the sixth smartest animal. Because, because the dogs the are loyal, yeah. yeah. The pigs will probably just be like, I don't give a fuck, I'm not sniffing this oh, shit. Oh, they're too smart. They're like, why am I sniffing this? Yeah, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, not I'm pretty smart and I'm not going to be a, a sniffer dog. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Because well, you can't. Uh, they do use if sniffer I could pigs sniff. for truffle. If I could. If I could. What? You know truffle? I've heard of it. Yeah, the they mushrooms. use pigs to find truffles. Sniffer pigs. But then do they, because they just eat the truffle? Maybe. Maybe they th- always think they're going to eat the truffle, then they get it taken away from Last them. second. Maybe they're not as smart as we thought. I swear octopus was number one, though. That's crazy. Yeah, they've been slipping down the list. I think they're one of the first, like, found to be smart animals back in the day. And they kept testing and testing, and then they figured out other animals are actually There's smarter. There's probably just so much research done on octopus because they found it first. I have no And they look like little this, aliens. Way. Yeah, they're And just I think like, as well because the they, they have, like, kind of arms. Like, they can open a jar. Yeah. So it's like, wow, that's smart. Open the jar. Dolphin yeah. can't open a jar. <laughs> what like, an idiot. Dolphin doesn't have arms. Yeah. What is the stupidest animal that really shouldn't be? Like, like they're a popular one. Oh. And they're all over the place. But they're dumb. But they're really dumb. Probably dogs. No. I think, like, snakes are probably stupid. Oh, like, why are they still existing? They're that dumb. Oh, it's got to be, like, moths, right? Oh, my moths God. Moths are fucking yeah, stupid. Any insect is probably pretty dumb. They I don't know. I think the moths. light is the sun. We, have a, we had a moth issue at our house. I don't oh, know. No. We, when you were house sitting, did you see any of these nah. little moths? <laughs> we had little... We had little moths. <laughs> Did you? <ya? laughs> I thought it was a moth issue. They're, they're called, I think they're called... Uh, moths? Closet moths. Oh, no. Have oh. you heard of it? They're clothes moths. Yeah, and they're, yeah. Little, they're so weak yeah. and insignificant. Yeah. And they're so annoying. Like they, they literally moth they, Mothballs? Do you know about mothballs? No. Maybe that would have helped. you got to put mothballs in your drawers. Mothballs in the drawers. They're in the <laughs> That's cupboards. That's a tongue twister. Well, put them in the cupboards then. What does a mothball do? Gets rid of it. It's like they don't like it. They don't like it and they just go away. They go away. Oh, well, in fact, we instead just cleaned everything out and chucked a bunch of stuff out. That's good. Because it's like they had <laughs> eggs and stuff yeah. everywhere. Chucked a bunch of stuff out. You like chuck out yeah. all the clothes. Yeah. Not clothes, but like, like, it's all food stuff. They're like in rice and shit. Mothballs? We burnt the house down. <laughs> oh, I wish we had known about mothballs. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> Did that actually work? 
Oh, yeah, it's like ant bait or whatever. Like, these things work. Oh, yeah. wow. Why Something. do they call them mothballs? Because they're little I balls. honestly thought Anti- a mothball moth was like good. a ball made of Better moths name. or something that the moths made themselves. They look like kind of wooden balls, mothballs. Yeah, Because right. you don't call it like, like you said, ant bait. It's not ant balls. Uh, they yeah. like throw out a couple of ant balls. A hundred pack for $15. Yeah, right. It's loading. Damn it, Jordan, around, you already you. chucked yeah. out all your belongings. I know, we chucked that out all sucks. the rice and stuff. But they, they were like, they got, they got in everything, like little crevices, like anything that was kind of partially open. They just laid like hundreds of eggs. And we figured out it was from the Indian supermarket in one of the spices that we bought. We looked in it and then it, it's just full of like moths and eggs inside it. And they must have been getting out of there. What spice was it? Oh, it was red. <laughs> Paprika? Nope. That's a lot of them. Turmeric? Nope, that's yellow. Yellow. Any other guesses from the audience? Well, I mean, spices. <laughs> don't act so high and mighty when you're like, turmeric's actually yellow when you can't remember the fucking spice we need. Yeah, well, I was in the game. It's not a good game, though. <laughs> it's not one that we This planned. is the game. Red spice, that's what it is, I'm pretty sure. Cayenne. It's called As- red spice? Asbesto in the chat. There's, if it's called Cayenne. red spice, then... I swear it was... I don't know. But in, anyway, it was a red spice and it was full of moths and it was disgusting and then they got to everywhere in our entire house and laid eggs. just bought a bag of moth eggs. Yeah. I don't know if that was a spice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do they it's eat like that you got India? the cumin seeds and next to it, the moth eggs. <laughs> you've, you've accidentally made a curry. Yeah. With it. But anyway, they're dumb. Sloths are also dumb, someone was saying in the chat. That's are sloths be up dumb? There. They look Yeah, dumb. they're a bit like you, Jordan. They can only get one thought at once. Yeah, but I'm faster. Yeah, that's good. Oh, congrats, dude. So I would like, win. I outspeed a sloth. I would win. I would She's win in a fight. one of the worst brags ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally, the bar is so low. <laughs> You're, right. You're right. What a sloth lose to, a snail? What do you mean lose in to? In a race. Yeah, snail. Well, can we think of a more like a gladiator fight? Because that's more exciting. Probably they'd still lose to a snail. I'm I'm snail. interested in like no, what 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 could a sloth beat? That's not like an insult. Do you reckon sloths are like Yoda and it, like if you if they're in a moment of need they could just go absolutely crazy? Yeah, like Yoda's always just shuffling around, but then he fights Dooku and he's just and flipping he's like, what, everywhere. What, what, what? Yeah, flipping around. I reckon they're storing all their energy, and if they like someone tries to mess with them, they just start clawing. They kill them, and they yeah. got the claw. They got the big claws. The big claws. Yeah, huge. That's Massive. an interesting theory. They just have like this like wild adrenaline response when they're like, it's one of those like pregnant mother situations, how they can lift a car if it's to save their child. Sorry, yeah. not pregnant. <laughs> is that, is that a I've fact? heard about it, yeah. Not pregnant. No, but you hear these stories of like pregnant mothers. people pulling off incredible feats to like save their child. Because adrenaline because just yeah. absolutely feels you. Yeah. That's what people need, bodybuilders or something. Do you reckon? What? Adrenaline? Like, say they ha- they're having to lift a thousand... Pound weight, yeah, yeah, and their child is at knife point if they don't do it. Yeah, that's actually how I'm they would win probably, the next Olympics. Yeah, put in no harder. training, but yeah. if I, I'll get someone to hold my kid at gunpoint. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. So then I'll, I'll just suddenly lift 500 kilos on the deadlift. Yeah, well, people usually do their best performances at the big event because of the pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. because they're kids are being round held hostage in the audience. Yeah, yeah. People usually do their best things. Oh, the biggest events. Round of applause. <laughs> I was going to get Jackson to slap you again. It's true. <laughs> it's true. People don't think about that. Yeah. And they should. If you train, you're going to do better. <laughs> no, that's oh, so just crazy. a round of applause. Hey, <laughs> that's so mate. different. It's like diamonds get built under pressure thing. They don't get built at all. They get formed. Well, actually, they oh, do get sorry. built. Uh, lab, get grown, lab grown uh, diamonds are a thing. Where, is you, where do you guys stand on lab-grown versus natural diamonds? Lab-grown sounds lab so grown. much better for everyone. They're cheaper. They're more sustainable. But better you, for the environment. Did you get a lab-grown better. one, Jordan? I haven't got anything. Well, for Holly, when you proposed. Oh, right. No, because she's a filthy, wants real Naturalist. diamonder. Yeah. yeah, see, so is Maddie. But I'm kind of on the same page. Like, they are logical. Diamonds <laughs> grown in a lab are more perfect. Yep. There's cheaper. no... I don't no, know if they're more um, perfect. I think they might be weaker, right? No, they're stronger. No, they're, they're like, stronger. There's no oh, impurities. People like, are psychopaths, aren't they? They're literally, the reason people want it is because it's more rare. Yeah, humans are psychopathic. Yeah, yeah, one's found from the earth. People just like the idea of more and it's but It's like how many poor more, yeah. people but died. It, yeah, there's bad stuff that. in the diamond trade, isn't there? Oh, so hell yeah. Stuff. It's just all the people who are actually mining that shit, a lot of the time it's like 
slave labor, pretty much. Like they were getting paid ten cents or whatever. Yeah. Wait, like lithium. So yeah, I, I I'm I'm with the uh, lab grown ones. Yeah, because I was talking to someone who works on the actual on like gold mines in Australia, and he's just he's just like this is all so stupid, isn't it? Because it's like there's so much effort and like digging into the ground, using X ray, studying the area, bringing in drills, mm. oil re- or whatever it's called, getting dump trucks, getting massive mounds of dirt, and if, if if and all these like tons of dirt, if you get like I don't know a gram of gold it's like it was all worth it and then you profit off all of that yeah because people want it but it's like what's all that for well with you diamonds know? yeah relax you could, you could not what if we, if we could synthesize gold i bet people wouldn't be that objective to it just relax is a good call to the gold industry <laughs> no, 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 no the gold industry is nailing it the people who want the gold yeah if they just relaxed it wouldn't be just there. don't want that just well, we can do that with diamonds. We literally figure out how to make them and it still doesn't work. I know, because people are fucking nuts. No, it's just whatever people want to pay for. That's what you, I'm saying. You paid for a fucking diamond out of the ground. That's what I'm saying. You're, well, yeah, but it's not my fault. You need to relax. You it's not my say, fault. Well, Whose you, fault is it? Do you want to call Holly. that directly on the podcast? Holly. Holly's fault. Holly's fault. Okay. Jordan. I bought a diamond. Well, if she didn't want a diamond, I wouldn't have bought a diamond. Jordan, I'll, give you, I'll give you the, on the lowdown. Yeah. Holly wouldn't have known. Wouldn't have known what if it was fake. Yeah. You are, I'm well, doing a fake. good bit so far, aren't I? Keep it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she listens to this Zach, you piece of shit. <laughs> like, you can't, you can't just say it was her choice because you obviously could have gaslit her. <laughs> so, Unethical no. life hacks number seven. Yeah. <laughs> That's why your girlfriend. <laughs> and use the rest of the ring money to buy yourself meth. Get then a burrito. Smoke the meth outside of a house that your friend is buying so that they can get a cheaper price. Can you do it in a SpongeBob voice? It's good, but it needs to be SpongeBob. <laughs> Unethical life hacks. No, this is. Pat- I, I, I can only. Like epic rap battles of history. <laughs> <laughs> I can only do Patrick. Okay, go on. I just did. Oh. That sounds like I'm uh, not bringing know. Patrick back because I kind of nailed it before, and I'm not going for it. <laughs> you know that thing two. where people trade like a red paperclip to get a house, like yeah. about, like unethical life hacks that chain together until you get like so you get completely until hacked. you become president. Yeah, like twist the paperclip into a, a device to stab someone, and then stab them, and then say, "I'll take you to the hospital if you give me again." Five, not bucks. unethical; it's illegal. Oh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, there's a balance. I guess yeah, you got to you got to run that. That little line. It's that a grey line. line. You want to be in that grey area. Mm. That's what it's all about. But anyways, do we figure out why things are funny? No. Nah. Nah. Because it's a weird. It's a weird. I don't think we ever were going to, to be honest. I think dolphins laugh. 